in today's video we're gonna unbox this three and a half cubic feet cement mixer I got this one off Harbor Freight this is the second one I got the first one I did return it because it did have uh, big holes I got it shipped to the house because my local one didn't have it so I got it shipped to the house It had big holes here on the sides and the bolts it was missing a lot of bolts so I just ended up returning it and this is the one I got from my local store let's go ahead and unbox it So this one does seem to have all the bolts on the other one. This was also ripped, so it's uh, numbered. We're going to go ahead and, and this one was loose inside the box. It's a good thing it comes intact this time. We got the belt. Instructions. So this is what we have so far. The other part should be in there. And right here we have the box, two wheels, the belt, the bolts, that little plate. And two of those. And that one. So I'm first going to get this beam where you put the tires. So we put that one. We're just going to put the bolts in here. This one did come a little bit scratched right here. I'm going to go ahead and get the bolts from bag number two. Bags number two. Getting to the other side. Now we're going to go to the other side and grab this one, the one with the little, two little bars. there push it from the bottom Okay, we should be good there. Oh, 
pushing it too far up. There we go. Pushed it a little bit down. There we go. So this thing does scratch up really easy. So just be prepared to get a lot of scratches on it. So now we're going to put the bolts that go there and the same thing on the other side in there. So that's going to be from bag number 12. Let's pull it down a little bit. Noticing this thing seems to be bent. So I'm not sure if it's just mine or what, because this thing goes like that. Right there, you can see the little curve and the hole there. It's not lining up. I'm going to put a screwdriver in there and see if it, it'll open it up. A smaller one. It's not working. Putting the screwdriver in there, gave it a few wax there and there. Finally went in. in there let's go ahead and do the other side the other bolt here from bag 12, the last one. This one did go nice and easy. No problem there. Okay. There we go. So when tightening these down, some people say it's better if you tighten the ones here first, then you tighten the ones on the side. So let's go ahead and tighten these first on both sides. It'll push the, the bolt in place, the rails and everything. side Let's go ahead and tighten these down. Let's go ahead and do the other side. Get a 
shorter socket. Okay, shorter socket here. Yeah, you can get both of them both short sockets. That should be good. Let's go ahead and do the wrist. Okay, the next part is we're gonna install the wheels on it. So we're gonna get the both wheels and we're gonna get bag number 13. Come with the large washers, the spring, the cotter pins, and some other stuff. So let's go ahead and get the washers out. So first we're gonna put in the washer. Put the washer in there, put the wheel. For the wheel, it's your decision if you wanna put a little bit of grease or not. Put the other washer and the cotter pin. And go ahead and fold the cotter pins. And do the other side and put the washer in and put the wheel washer and the cotter pin go starting to get formed so this lower drum comes all complete let's go ahead and see seat this down to here and there So this part where the motor is going to go and the little handle to pull it up and down should be on this side. So let's go ahead and put the bolts there from bag number three. Bag number three. There's two bolts in there. Washer and the nut. Same thing on the other side. And tighten those down. And tighten from the nut side. Go 
ahead and tighten the other side. Tie it from the nut side. we're gonna install the little disc let's go ahead and just put it in there just like that we're gonna get bag number four so we have bag number four just get two bolts two nuts and two washers in there the washer both sides and put the nuts go ahead and tighten it down so you're gonna tighten the nut side on the back Okay, we're gonna get the bag number 13. We're gonna get the spring. We're gonna get the handle. And we're gonna get bag number five. So you're gonna get this one. You're going to get the little disc in bag number five. So go to the disc. You're going to put that one inside here. There we go. Make sure it's nice and flat in there. And go ahead and put the spring in there. So you're going to install it. Hold the spring, get the bolt and washer out. Just go ahead and put the washer. side there there we go we're gonna put another washer from bag number five and you're left with two nuts here Tighten this one. Once you tighten it, not too much though, because you need a little bit of. Otherwise, it's going to be really hard to move this little lever. So, once you get it just right, you're going to insert this one and you're going to jam both of them together so they don't move. So, let's go ahead and tighten those up.
it a little bit more. That seems just about right. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it there. And give it a little tension right now. Let's go ahead and install the other nut. Stop focusing. There we go. is a little bit too big that should work let's go ahead and uh, tension this one because it's a little bit too loose here it's getting there gonna leave it there the instructions say to use some gasket sealer on this but I don't have any gasket sealer so I'm just gonna hit it, go ahead and install it to so what I've researched supposedly you don't need it it's just to hold it in place while you assemble it but I'll keep you updated so let's go ahead and put the this is the other half of the drum we have bag number eight, so let's go ahead and use these. same all the way around get the bolt the same this gasket will hold it in place let's go ahead and skip this part it's gonna take too long so there we are I put all the bolts in there let's go ahead and put it on top of the other drum Okay, make sure you line up this arrow along with the arrow here on the other drum. It's very important. And go ahead and work everything out. So make sure all the little bolts went in there. put the washer the little lock nut and the washer in there just a, a few little turns so we have the little lock we have a little lock here and the little nut go ahead and install it in there 
the little nut. Just give it a few turns. Do not tighten it yet. Make sure all of the bolts are in there. Okay, I just checked all the bolts. They all went in. Check the gasket before you tighten them down. For me, it was easier if you just pull it up a little bit, just lift it wherever the bolt didn't go in, and it'll just slide in, just guide it. So this part was easy. All the gasket is in there. And make sure that both arrows are lined up. So we have the little hole, the little arrow. As you can see the bottom hole is in here, huh? slightly over here, but very important for you to line those up because that's how the, the little mixer things are going to be lined up those in the next step. little by little I'm gonna tighten the one on the other side across from it to this one don't tighten it too much little by little feel the gasket inside it's nice It's going to take a lot. Okay, so once you tighten all the bolts all around, we're going to get one of these paddles. We're going to get bag 10. Okay, so we're going to use bag number 10 for both bolts there on the bottom. This one seems to have a little overspray of paint, so it's uh, pretty hard to get in there. So I'm going to use the ratchet to get it in there because it like, screws in there. And we're going to use bag 11 here on the top, both of these, bag 11. Let's go ahead and do that. So I got the bag 10, from the bag 10, put the bolt in there. I'm going to put the washer in the bottom and the nut. get the bag 11 bag 11 has a Phillips screw on top the bolt in there let's go ahead and do the same with the other one the other bolt from back 10 There we go. Okay. 
ahead and put the washer and the nut on the other side, on the back side. There we go. Get bag 11 again and do the top one. doesn't really line up that well. I'm not sure why. But I'll tighten it up and see what happens. And tighten this one. Oh, it's clear upside. this up. There we go. Perfect. Go ahead and tighten the ones on the bottom. Get an extension here. Nice and tight, not going anywhere. We're gonna go on this side now. We're gonna install this plate. This one, you just put it right there. You're gonna get uh, the bolts from bag number four. Number four. Washers. side Just 
behind it from the, the other side, the back side. We're good. We're gonna install the bracket, which is this one. It's pretty cheap, has a lot of holes in there. All chipped and everything. So we're gonna get this bracket and this little guy and the bolts from bag number six. Put the bolts in there. We're gonna get the bracket. We're gonna get the washer, then the nut. see the bracket right here do not tighten it all the way you only put these uh, hand tight so they don't fall on you I believe you're gonna put the tension here for the motor later so don't tighten all the way yet so now we're gonna get the pulley and we're gonna get back 13 we're going to get the little key. This little guy right here. It's going to go inside here. So let's go ahead and remove this one. It's a Phillips head. And install it. that went just slide slid right in there gonna tighten this one down We're gonna get the motor, should be inside this box. And bag number seven. These are to tighten down the motor. So let's go ahead and open the box. And there's the motor. up the holes here in the bottom this one seems a little bit like someone dropped the motor or something because this one's not aligned correctly it does have a gap here so let's go ahead and get the bolts from number seven
washer and a mat. bolt this one's a little bit harder to put in there there we go put the washer and the uh, okay all four are good to go Go ahead and get the belt. So we have the belt here. Pull the motor back a little bit. You can lift the motor. back here there we go perfect it's right where it should be now you have to look at it from the bottom from down here and make sure it's aligned once you know it's aligned go ahead and tighten the four bolts at the bottom Okay, it does seem to be aligned there. Just make sure this one doesn't hit right there. Give a little bit of space there. one check that it's still freely Make sure that pulley doesn't rub there at the, at the back. This does look good. Let's go ahead and, and tighten the both bolts here in the back. These. Tighten those two to the perfect tension here for the belt. Next step, we're going to need to install these wires. So we're going to get the cover. We're going to remove the four screws here. We're also going to get number 13, those little clips. So let's go ahead and get a Phillips screwdriver.
Okay, so it's gonna look like this. And we're missing one clip there. Hmm. That's not good. So from factory, we're missing this little clip. Should be on here. I have to go out and buy it. This one should be connected on here with one of these. But for some reason, my unit came defective. So it didn't come with that. little bit more meat off here Then just plug it in. And there we go. So this is gonna be a little bit hard to film. But we're right here at the motor. Here's the wires. We're gonna pull these through in here. to do it with one hand because I can't position the camera here so we're gonna put the ground here where that bolt is right there the bottom let's go ahead and put the ground first to do this off camera so I got the ground over here tightened up we're gonna get the black wire put it on this side make sure the plastic is on there and everything now we're gonna get the white one make sure this little coating is on there there we go. Let's slide it in there. Snap right in. So that's what it should look like. Both of the black ones on that side and both of the white ones on this side. Okay, so this part was really challenging. It's pretty hard to do. Uh, get this thing inside there. But once you get a hang of it, it's uh, nice and easy. So before you get it in, inside there, you first, outside here, you have to press the little clamp outside with some pliers. Once you press it in with some pliers, you just push it in there. It's a little bit hard, but it'll, it'll work. Let's go ahead and install the top little cover. This is plastic, so do not over tighten this. And the last step 
we're gonna install this cover with bag number nine. Go ahead and get the little Phillips screws and the nuts and washers and finish this up. This one is a little bit bent, so I'm going to have a little hard trouble putting that one. Let's go ahead and put that one in. tighten here okay it doesn't really want to tighten so I'm just gonna put the nut in there tighten it a few times and see if that'll close it a little bit so I can put the washer inside did not work all three screws have been installed these two on the side did give me a lot of problems so I first tightened the nut without the washer once I did that, I removed the, the nut, then installed the washer. This thing came like crooked for some reason. That's why I didn't want to go in. But other than that, it's ready, good to go. Let's go ahead and turn it on. <laughs> 